Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I want to be talking about the screen options and other options within creating a post. Now, from our post here that we created, our first post, we can click edit this post at the top here. So there's just edit here. Now from here, you can see exactly what we saw before. We have format, categories, tags, and you can click and drag these around uh, to see how you see fit, where, depending on where you'd want them. Um, but what about some extra stuff, right? seems like there should be more stuff here. Well, there is. In fact, up top here, out of the way, we have this screen options. And in screen options, it gives you a bunch of things that are not necessarily on the edit screen by default. You can also even choose the layout. For instance, if you wanted this all to be in one big column, you could select this number of columns to be one. Split it up into two, you could have it be two. Now, Let's just turn some of this stuff on. We have revisions, excerpt, send trackbacks, custom fields, discussion, comments, slug, and author. Now, let's see all of these things that we just added here. If we scroll down, it puts them all down here in the main column. Of course, you could drag it and move it wherever you'd like. Revisions just shows the times that this was last updated. So it shows that this post was updated four minutes ago and published 29 minutes ago. Now we have an excerpt here, and this excerpt is, as it says, a handcrafted summary of the content that you can use in your theme. So the thing is with excerpts, the theme itself, this theme in particular, doesn't have anywhere where this excerpt's gonna be output without modifying the theme. So if you type in here, just know that you're gonna have to read some documentation to find out how to get this excerpt to actually print in your theme. Next, we have trackbacks to send trackbacks. So this is a way of letting legacy blog systems know that you've linked to them. Basically, if you need to know what a trackback is, you probably know what it is. If not, it's something that's worth Googling. And it says you can just enter the URLs within uh, separating them by spaces in here. So if you need to add trackbacks, this is how you do it. Next, we have custom fields, which again, allows you to post extra metadata in your theme. But if your theme doesn't have a way to output this metadata, nothing's going to show up. So here you could have a name and a value, but that doesn't mean anything's necessarily going to show up on the front end of your website if your theme doesn't call for it. Next, we have discussion. These are just some settings whether this particular page allows trackbacks and pingbacks or if it allows comments. So if you want a track bags and ping mags or you want comments, make sure that these are checked. Next, we can add a comment from the admin section itself. Simply clicking this allows you to add a new comment this way, or it's going to show you the comments that have recently been posted on this content. Next, we have the slug, which is another way for the URL slug, right? So it's the, it's the text that is no spaces, lowercase with hyphens in it, that is our URL. So our first post is slash our hyphen first hyphen post. For some reason, if you needed to change this, you'd want to change this. However, it makes a lot of sense for this to be uh, the page title. So you're probably best off just leaving this option uh, and non non check. Now, author allows you to change the author of a piece of content. Maybe, let's say somebody wrote a piece of content, but you went in and created it for them. You'd want to be able to set this so that they were the ones, in fact, that get the credit for writing it. Now, with all of these, you can you can make them small like this to make them you know small and out of the way. You can throw them in the right column. But a lot of times, it's really, you know, some of this stuff your content editors aren't going to need to see. So when we uncheck revisions, excerpt, send trackbacks, custom fields, discussion, comments, slug, author, and even format, I mean, we can leave tags featured, uh, image, and category. Let's go ahead and update this. Next time we create a new post, so let's go to new post, you'll notice that those items are exactly what we told it to be. So WordPress remembers what your screen options are. So just make sure that if you have all this stuff turned on, that you want your content editors to see that kind of stuff. Um, of course, they would need to have access to edit in the first place, but just be conscious of how you want this edit page to be set up, and then uh, WordPress will remember that. So we've created our first post, we've edited it, we use the screen options, and now we're ready to start creating pages. So in the next video, we're gonna create pages, and then we're gonna move on to some more advanced stuff. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video, or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Check out the Level Up Tuts forum, or on Facebook, or pretty much anywhere. Thanks for watching, bye.